In this video, we're gonna take a quick look on how to upload documents into a D2L quiz. So in a situation for say a midterm or a final exam where you have to upload a graph or your work to prove your work in the whole situation. So let's jump over, let's see how exactly we could do this. So we'd have our standard question, our written response would be a situation like this. And of course we could write in this box a bunch of our answers such as one, this is the answer to part one. What we often want to do though is you want to include other bits. So there's two ways to do this. If you're uploading a JPEG or a PNG, you can use this little insert stuff right here. And if you do this and if it works properly, you can go my computer, you can choose a file. And if you pick something like my little cat picture here and hit upload, it will, okay, I already have it in here, so we're just gonna create a new file. And then it comes to something like this. This is a good sign. We can collect, this is decorative. And if we do so, it just inserts the picture right into our text box. And from that, we can just work around it. And hey, that's just right there underneath part one, our answer and our work to support it. Some image types, some file types don't work for this. If that's the case, what we need to do is use this second one. This is kind of your fallback method, and you'd want to go add a file. In this case here, in the same way, we'd go to my computer, and you would upload. You can either drag or drop into here, or we can upload. And in this case, I'm going to upload a Excel document. So here we have test.xlsx. In this case, we add this, and we see right down here at the bottom our document and we are good to go. At this point here, I have two submissions, one picture added to the text box itself. Again, if this works, this is the ideal method. If that doesn't work, the fallback, and again, for other things like Excel documents, this is a perfectly fine way to do it. From here, we can submit. Yes, we wanna submit. And then yes, let's allow it to be graded. Okay, here we go. There's the result, there's the picture, and then there's the attachment on it as well. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out either by email, by posting to the Frequently Asked Questions, or of course, by leaving a comment below. Thanks.